It did not lift that well. What happened? Oh god. Oh sh Where did we go so wrong? Oh my gosh. The hair started falling out. No! Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here. Let's watch some videos together. You look incredible, by the way. I wanted to try something new with my hair. I have natural pale skin and I have a lot of freckles. So a lot of people have been telling me that I would look really good with red ginger copper hair. I think they are so right. Whoever told you that is brilliant. Like that is definitely the vibe for you. You have the perfect skin tone for a ginger color. However, your hair is very dark right now, so it's gonna take a lot of work. Well, a little bit of work to get this ginger. I was gonna say a lot of bit of work, but honestly, like, usually people end up with ginger hair accidentally. So, trying to do it on purpose shouldn't be that hard. But you know what? You guys seem to make everything harder than it is. So, I'm sure we'll somehow find a way of making this the most difficult process ever. So, let's see. I've been watching a lot of Brad Mondo videos. That way, I'm prepared to just do my hair. As you can tell, I have a lot of it. She's got some thick, long hair. It is luscious and it is ready to be colored ginger. I can tell. It's like speaking through the screen. It's like, please color me ginger immediately. I've had in the past where I would cut my hair and grow it out and then cut it back to like my chin and then grow it out. And I'm finally comfortable with the length. I'm comfortable with my bangs. I'm also comfortable with your bangs. I like the length, but I do think some layers would be really cool on you. Like it would look really, really, really good. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense when I say that? Like, it would look really good if you had some layers, maybe like a wolf cut. Ow! Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I just had like a shoulder spasm or something. Whoa. Chill. Oh, it still hurts. Oh, whoa. A wolf cut would look insanely good with your hair. Just to give you a little bit more body, a little more volume, a little more texture, a little more movement. You know what I mean? I've dyed it a lot in the past. It's gotten black box dye in it. It's gotten red box dye in it. So it's got a lot of box dye. Oh, God. She just named every box color in the world. No, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it's probably gonna be patchy. But you know what? We are only trying to go copper, ginger. So, like, it could be fine, you know? If everything could work out, it could be good. I don't know. I kind of don't have a lot of hope right now, to be honest with you. This is gonna be a hell of a ride. I got 20 volume. I have the lightener. I have everything here. These are the colors that I am dyeing it. I'm mixing these two together in order to achieve the color that I want. 5RC and 7R. Okay, so like a level 6 red copper. Cool. I like that. A level 6 is good for you. I think a level 6 red is awesome. Imagine like a lighter brown, but red. I feel like that was a very difficult way of explaining just a light red. So she only has to lift her hair like say two, three levels. It should be fine. So I have my hair parted and I have my concoction and this is kind of the consistency that I have right now with it. It looks pretty good to me, looks pretty thick. It's a little watery, but it's okay, it'll be fine. It just depends, are you doing an open air application or are you doing foils? You're probably doing open air, so I would recommend having it a little thicker so it doesn't dry out too fast, but I will take this. I'm going to start with small, small sections and work my way up. The question we're all waiting to be answered is, is she gonna start with her roots or is she not going to start with her roots? I feel like she probably won't, because she literally, she watches my videos, so we'll see. Got my foil here. Oh, we're doing foil. Okay, the, the mixture of the bleach was fantastic then. Good job. We're gonna begin, and I'm just gonna start lathering it on. Remember, I used to be like, bleach doesn't lather. And I'm making sure I am getting the backs and the fronts. Make sure I get in between, and, and I am avoiding my roots. That way then everything can just look all nice and dandy and great. Gotta lighten up a little bit more. We're starting from the bottom back. We love when people start with the bottom back. It is the perfect place to start a color job, okay? It's my favorite place. Me and the nape of the neck. Two peas in a pod. Give it some more time. 
We are, however, using the wrong side of the foil, though it doesn't matter that much. Would recommend using the non-colored side of the foil, though, to get best results. <laughs> it's okay. One section done. It looks a little crazy. I've almost got half of my head done. I'm very slow at this. I'm trying to soak in every piece that I can. People tend to take, like, almost circular sections of hair instead of, like, horizontal flat sections of hair when they're doing this themselves. I don't really know why. I guess you just can't see the back of your head very well. But, you know, I would recommend horizontal, flat, thin, paper thin sections. When you have a sort of circle section, it's hard to get through all the hair. And then you end up with spotting from the bleach not getting into all the little crevices in the hair in that little pile of hair. So, um, wouldn't recommend this way, but it should be fine because she's doing a pretty good job at fully saturating each strand. Okay, half of my head is officially done. You can see right here. <sighs> Look at that. That is definitely lighter. That is definitely lighter. That is looking really good. And um, luckily we are getting light enough to go copper because we don't want to over lighten the hair, right? Because then the copper color will just fall right out of the cuticle. Once this lightening is finished, we want it to be like a copper tone already. And then we just put the copper color on top of it to seal everything in, make everything really vibrant and also really even in tone altogether. There is some spotting appears definitely lighter than down here. Yeah, definitely have to take this out soon. Oh, babe, it's gonna be spotty. From what you said you have on your hair, all the stuff you have in your hair, it's gonna be spotty as hell. Yeah, so this still needs some work. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start up here because this is, I have to take care of that. Ooh, that looks a little dry. We need a lot more lightener than that. I have to wash the first section out and this is what it looks like. You can't really see it, but obviously it did not lift that well. Ah. Uh. Oh no, 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 no. What happened? It doesn't look at all lighter. You must have had way too much developer in your bleach formula because something went wrong. It almost looks like there was no like powder mixed with the developer and it just didn't do anything. Something's up because that's not normal for 30 volume. I knew what's gonna happen, which is why I didn't do my roots at all. Let me see if I can turn. I just left the roots as it was. Oh wait, it looks a little lighter from that angle, I think. It's very hard to see, guys. It's very hard, it's very bright in here. Because I'm gonna do a second round of bleach and see if it'll pull through. All right, fingers crossed. I am treating my bangs like I'm treating my roots. I don't wanna bleach from here down and it'd be really white. I love what's going on with her head right now. She's got like foils everywhere, plastic bag on top of everything. It is quite a moment. However, we did leave out way too much root. At the top, there's like three inches of root left out. We want to just keep that to a minimum, right? We want to just do like an inch of the root left out and evenly across the head. Otherwise, you're going to get weird sh going on, all right? Then when she goes on her root, she's gonna get banding from the hair being a little bit too far from the root that doesn't catch onto the heat from the scalp. And then the heat from the scalp is going to affect that one inch from the scalp and it's going to make it nice and bright and light. And then you're gonna end up with weird sh going all around your head. Just a bunch of different colors. I don't like that for you. I just took out this section because it's time to take it out. So I'm gonna do now is I'm going to rinse this out and wait until these are done. There is still spotting all over the place. It definitely lightened up more than the rest of this, which is still wet. Oh yeah, looking like cheetah print over here. It's looking a hot mess. I am hoping that it'll live around this color right here because my color that I want to do doesn't require me to bleach it very, very light. Oh my God, there's so much going on on this one head. <gasps> She has like five different colors on her head. Oh boy, how are we gonna even this out and make it all come together? I don't know, but hopefully she does because I'm not the one doing it, luckily. I think that maybe if I used a 30 volume developer, maybe it would have taken out more. You know, I was told by professional to use the 20. Oh, we're using 20. Okay, that's why this is taking forever and we're not getting any good lifting. 30 would have been so much better for you. You have layers of bauxite on there. Give it to me. Give me a 30 volume now. Yikes. 
we'll be able to even it out. I know we will. Okay, the thing is, even when we put a toner over all this, yeah, it'll definitely appear even-ish. However, we'll still have variations of tones going on just because the palette underneath is not even, okay? You kind of need to have an even palette if you want optimal results, right? But something tells me you don't really care about having optimal results. You just want results. <laughs> no, actually, I feel like you do actually want good results, huh? You probably do. This is a lot lighter than I thought it would come out. This color is really, really close to the color that I bought dye for. Okay, it's actually looking good. What is going on? <laughs> this is a roller coaster. Oh, you are sending me on a ride right now. It is looking a whole lot better now that she rinsed it and blow dried it. Honestly, I also like the root. Like, I feel like she just should not do her root and just leave it dark. So it fades from like a dark brown to copper. It'd be really pretty on her. Uh, but I have a feeling we're gonna try and do the roots too and everything's gonna be kind of chaotic, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so I just finished my roots. Very, very blonde. So I'm gonna wash this side out. I started this at 11 o'clock and it is now three. Five hours. Oh, wash that out. Those roots are getting way too light. Why are the roots way lighter than the ends? Well, obviously because of the heat on the scalp and your roots are probably natural with probably not a lot of box dye on them. So they're going to be way easier to lighten than the mids and ends. So uh, let's rinse it the f*** out. Hurry up. This is my hair all dry. And this is the second round of bleach. I want to show you that the bangs, I didn't have enough time to really dye those bangs. So they're still a little bit like brownish. Oh dear Lord. You have 85 colors on your head. Ah, let's hope that this toner just performs a miracle on you. However, I would try and get that way more even all around before toning for sure. Because one day that toner is gonna wear off and you're gonna have 18 colors again showing on your head and it's not gonna be cute. This is a full back and it's cool, very close to the color that I was looking for. My roots are peeking through so I'll need to dye those. Oh no! Did you see the back of her head? Oh no! No, 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 no! This is what I got. They're the Wella Permanent Gel Hair Colors. All right, well, we're using permanent color. Let's not do that. You don't need to do that. You just lightened your hair. You just need demi-permanent color or semi-permanent color, depending on how long you want this red to last. Demi-permanent lasts a bit longer. Semi-permanent's easier to get out. Just depends what you want. You don't need to inflict any more damage on your hair for any reason. You just don't need to do that. However, sometimes permanent color does tend to last longer on situations like this where the hair is red. So like, it just depends. It's like, okay that she did it, but not optimal in my eyes. There's more than one way to do things with hair though. Hi, to be fully honest, I probably should have updated you guys right after I finished my hair. I am so in love with my hair. I love it so much. I think that it looks so good on me and I feel like it really fits. And I think that with my pale skin and my freckles, it really matches my looks oh my god she owns this color oh my god this looks like she should have been born with it you know it looks beautiful i will say though i like the end color much more than i like the root color the root color is like definitely a really vibrant red and the end color is like this perfect natural copper look that i love so so much i would love to see your whole head that copper color um but this looks so much better than that dark color you had before both look great on you but like this, this is your thing. And you killed it. In a lot of the ways you actually did like murder it. Like you did like a bat, like that was really scary. Like you kind of killed it. You're like, you know what I mean? Like just kind of like, let's kill my hair. <laughs> but in a lot of ways you also killed it in the positive way. This looks great. <laughs> good job. No, not good job, but you got away with it. And that's all that matters. I am going to dye my hair ginger. By the way, the title of this video says Brad Mondo, please don't watch this. So obviously I'm going to watch it. If there's ever something you guys don't want me to watch, just write, don't watch it. Cause I will feel more inclined to watch it. If you say that. I dyed my hair black four months ago. There are a hint of brown in my hair. It's a of no, no, no. All right, we got so much going on already. We have very dark black hair that has been processed and put through the ringer with box dyes and all kinds of shit. 
And then we got some blonde strands underneath. I don't know if the entire underneath of her hair is blonde or not, but uh, there is a lot of blonde in here that we have to watch out for to ensure that we do not break it all off and our hair doesn't fall to the floor and snap off and die. And then we cry and then everything's really sad. We don't want that. Step one is removing the black box dye from my hair. I'm going to use this from Sora, their hair color remover. Sabi kasi sa instructions sa likod is maglagay ng bleaching powder. And the ratio is 4 is to 1. Ihihiwalay ko lang yung mga may kulay na area dito sa ilalim. It's light enough already. So ang gagalwin lang natin is yung mga black. This is going to be a very, very tough job. There is so much going on and so much to do. Oh. Boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There is just a lot. I don't even know what else to say. There's just a lot going on. I mean, she's gotta make sure she doesn't get hot roots. She's gotta make sure she lightens those ends enough, which is gonna be a hard part because getting those ends that have been processed and put through the ringer, like I said before, with Bach color, is gonna be really hard to get those light and even all the way through. And then the underneath, she just needs to watch out for that blonde because if she does bleach it, it's gonna be a problem. And she's got a whole lot of hair to deal with. Maybe just chop it to your shoulders first so we have less to deal with. I think that would be easier. And then mix lang natin yung ginawa natin. And I will apply it to my hair. I think this is color remover. I don't know. She's going in and out of a different language, I think. And she then she's speaking English and I am lost because my ADHD cannot handle all that. So I think that's good though. I am 90% sure she is using color remover. So that is great. We definitely want to remove this black pigment before we start bleaching. Well, I, I say definitely, but also you can do kind of anything you want, right? With color. There's so many ways to get to the finish line with color. Sometimes I prefer not to use color remover because honestly, sometimes just going in with lightener just from the start does the same job. But it all depends on how inky, how dark, how many layers of box color there has been put on the hair over and over again. You might want to go in with some color remover if you have a lot of layers built up. I think mixture na ginawa natin kanina. Kaya kailangan wet yung hair natin kasi this is shampoo. And then nahiwalay ko na rin yung mga blonde parts. I have lost all track of what's going on. I don't know. She's putting something else over her wet hair. I don't know. I'm going to leave this on for 30 minutes and I'll be back. So this is what the results of the shampoo. Ayan. It turned reddish. Brown. Did she say shampoo? That wasn't shampoo. I think she means color remover. I'm pretty sure we're gonna go with that. Um, it did a really good job of lightening her hair though. She now has this kind of red color, which um looks good. I mean, like looks good in terms of like all she did was color remover. Now her hair is a lot lighter, so that is awesome. Cool, cool. Now we gotta bleach it a thousand times. Okay, we're doing good. We are really doing good. We're pulling through here So she is now bleaching her hair and she was doing an open air application Which I think is fine because she's not trying to go that light So with a 30 volume and some bleach we should get to our desired result Which is like this copper color and we're leaving the root out awesome 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 The only thing I don't like that really scares me is the underneath of her hair was kind of left out the blonde part Which that's the good part I would definitely recommend putting like a hair mask on the hair and then putting it in a bag and then going on the top of the hair and bleaching the rest that way you don't risk touching that blonde hair at all with the lightener and that blonde hair gets a little treatment So it's like a win-win, you know, we get a little treatment. We avoid breakage. Everybody's happy. Your hair is happy and it looks better than ever before Ooh. Ah. We have waited for the mids and ends to lighten and now we're going out to the root which is a great idea Good job not just going right ahead on those roots and applying right away while the ends are still dark We don't want to do that Oh shit, the hair started falling out. No, no! Good morning, it's the next day. Oh, that hair looks fried. I saw my hair falling apart, so I immediately stopped what I'm doing and rinsed it all off. My hair just keeps falling, like, natutunaw na talaga siya, so. Oh my god, I thought she lost like two strands of hair, not an entire 
clump of it, like a handful of hair. Where do we go so wrong? What happened? Oh no, oh no. She's gonna go in again with some more bleach after the hair just fell out. Please make it stop. Why, why? Your hair's already warning you. It's like, we're all gonna break off if you keep going. And she's like, well, buckle up, bitch. Hello, I'm back after two days. So this is what we're currently working on. I mean, it's blonde. It is spotty and crazy, but it is blonde. And we are just trying to do a coppery ginger color. So it's fine because we will cover up this mess. But holy shit, it is scary underneath. Okay, by the way, I'm going to be using... Yeah. And then my oxidizer. Ayun pa din, the 9%. I already have my mixture. Oh shit. Oh shit. It got worse. Okay, she is using 30 volume with permanent color. <laughs> no, 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 no. All you need is a semi-permanent color at this point. Like your hair is, is so compromised. You want something that's very nourishing, has bond booster built in, X mono color <laughs> available at Sally Beauty. You don't want to go with 30 volume. This is going to cause more breakage. Oh, shit. Also, we're gonna blast that cuticle open. The hair is not going to be able to retain those red molecules. They are going to fall right out of your hair the first time you wash it and your hair is gonna turn pink. So this is the finished outcome of my hair. It is bright in person, but not that bright. It's really dead, but we have a lot of so. Thank you, Lord. I mean, you look beautiful. I guess I just wasn't expecting like orange. Like I was expecting copper ginger. I was expecting a little bit of like brown tone in there, which I think would look really great on you. This is some bright, bright orange hair. Oh boy, is it? Yeah, I don't know. There's just a lot, a lot just happened. I have to go to like therapy after that. That was one of the scariest, craziest bleach moments I've seen in a long time. Oh my God. And the results, I, I mean, they, it's good, it's just not great. I think we have some areas of improvement, right? I think we can both agree on that. <laughs> I have wanted to go ginger for the longest time. I tried to do it last week, however, it ended up being a bit of a fail. I got some box hair dyes, plonked them on my head, and it literally did next to nothing to my hair. So um, it lifted my roots up a tiny bit, but apart from that, no, it was a, it was a complete fail. That is probably because your hair is colored already, I believe it looks like. Her hair likely did not lighten from that color because she was probably putting permanent color over hair that has already been permanently colored. And color does not lift color, so she has to bleach her hair in order to get a lighter color than what she has right now. Hope that made sense. It's been a while since I've used like bleach on the whole of my head. Now I'm looking at them, I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. I'm a little, sorry, I'm making this face because I'm just a little bit horrified that we are using bleach in a box. Don't get me wrong, it's not the box that makes it bad. It's the fact that we don't know what is in the box. It could be any developer and I just don't exactly know what it is. So how are you gonna know what it is? You need to apply something that you know what it is on top of your head, you know? A good 30 volume would be nice for you. Okay, so I've just mixed my Live Excel um, bleach and I'm actually gonna put it in a bowl. I'm gonna be adding some shampoo because number one, I don't want it to be super harsh. I don't want it to lift my hair loads i just literally want to take off the super dark hair dye out my hair but also i don't think i've got enough bleach all right so she's going in with a bleach bath i don't know her hair history i also haven't really seen her hair but something tells me that her hair is not going to lift enough levels with a bleach bath and also if you're gonna do a bleach bath your hair has to be wet that way this bleach can lather okay that's kind of like the point is it's kind of like an easy way to distribute a lot of bleach on a head all at once very quickly and get a, just a little bit of lift, like a half a level. And you want more than a half a level of lift. So I don't think this is the best path for you. I would just go right on the hair straight up with bleach. So I'm just gonna take my mixture, plop it in a bowl. And now I'm just gonna add some of the shampoo. I'm just eyeballing really, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna put this on um, the ends of my hair because I feel like that's gonna be the most difficult to lift because my head is actually a little bit lighter. So I will go in with this bleach instead because um, I don't think this one's as harsh. She's diluting the formula with shampoo. However, we don't even know what the formula is in the first place. So now we got an extra random mystery concoction that is about to go on her head. Okay, the application is scary. We are just taking clumps of hair and just putting it all on. Okay. <laughs> 
Today's video is torture. Just taking all that hair and just somehow we're gonna get all the bleach on every single strand. Don't do that. Now I'm gonna start on my roots because I don't wanna have like banding where my roots are gonna be like super light and then my end's gonna be super dark. So now I'm gonna use Ultimate Definition Light Blonde Bleach. I haven't added any shampoo to this cause I don't think it's as strong as the XL. What? What? No. Everything's going wrong. So she's applying to her root now. However, her ends have not even began to lighten. So we don't want to apply to the roots if the ends are not light. And also, that is not a root. That is half of your hair that you did not color. Like, you didn't color from here up. A root is just like an inch. That is half of your head. And also, she said, I don't think this color is as, as, as powerful as the live color. How do you know? Because <laughs> the box looks a little more intense? I don't know. They are both probably 40 volume and powder lightener. Uh, because that's usually what they are in those boxes. I actually just made that up. I do not know what they are in those boxes, but I'm, I don't know. That just sounds right. <sighs> God, we're gonna end up with hot roots. <laughs> So all the bleach is on my head now and I can actually see my hair lifting. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep massaging it and hope the color um, lifts a little bit evenly. But yeah, I'm just gonna eyeball it and then wash it off when I think it looks as a reasonable level. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and I'm just gonna check up on my hair, so. Oh God. Oh sh So my roots have lifted, but I have a ring around my head, so. Oh no. No, sh sorry. Just like, that was bound to happen. Come on. <laughs> that was like bound to happen. We also put a bag over the head, we incubated, which is fine, but uh, those roots needed to be applied last. But not just last. We had to have waited until the rest of the hair processed. So, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get my hair dryer and try to blast this dark ring around my head and try and lift it somewhat. No! <laughs> no! Don't blast it with a hair dryer. The only time you you can really like blast it with a hair dryer is when the hair is in foils and the the lightener has not dried out yet okay we can warm up the foils because the foils keep some of that moisture in but when we're in open air application like this it's already dry and once that lightener dries it loses most of its ability to lighten the hair so we don't want to blow dry it it's just going to dry the lightener out and we're not gonna get any results that way nothing's gonna happen the hair is just gonna be like crispy and rock solid covered in blue you know, if you guys don't want to do like the whole roots last, mids and ends first thing that I always talk about, you can also just apply like five volume developer with bleach on your roots and then do your mids and ends with like 30 volume. That's also an easy way to do this so that you end up with the same color all the way through. So I've just blow dried my hair and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Now there is um, a dark band around my head still. Honestly, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be either. When I went to Boots, the color that I wanted to go was wasn't actually there that I originally chose. So I actually picked up three different colors. Why do we have three different colors? My original plan was I was gonna put them in a bowl, mix them all together and hope that um, the color turns out nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Is it me today or is it these people? This is crazy. We're gonna take three different formulas, three different brands, three different box guys, three different colors and mix them all together. What? But because I've got a darker patch on my head, I'm gonna use the Live Excel on that area to see if it's gonna lift up a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this on my roots cause they're a little bit hot. And then I'm gonna put the casting creme gloss um, cause I think this is gonna be the least harsh and I'm gonna put that on the bottom of my hair. And we are now going with permanent box dye color over pre-lightened hair that does not need permanent color once again. Okay, so I've had this dye on now for about 20 minutes and I can't see much difference in my hair at the moment. Um, so I'm just gonna go and pop this on my roots. Okay, so the hair dye from Clairol seems to have like a bit of a blue tint to it. Now, this is usually what my hair dye does when it's going black. So I hope this is the right hair dye in the box. This is now the third different color she's applying to her head. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the third different color on one single head. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this on my head now for about half an hour. Okay, everyone, so this is the final result. I am super happy. It's actually come out a lot nicer than what I thought it was. Now, I still have a bit of a dark ring around my head, but it's not as 
bad as what I first thought it was going to be. Did I make this process um, more complicated than it needed to be? Of course I did. Yep. <laughs> Next time I dye my hair red, I'll probably just go over this dark patch a little bit just to lift it up. Uh, but apart from that, I'm feeling like a new person. I am loving it. I'm digging it. It's something I've never done before. Oh, <laughs> That was the best case scenario. That was the best result she could have possibly gotten because it looks decently even. She looks gorgeous and glamorous in this color. I love this color on her. But yeah, she definitely has hot roots, darkness in the mids, lightness on the ends, a whole lot going on. It could definitely be a whole lot better. But for what she just did to her hair, I'm impressed that it even came out this good. <laughs> this is best case scenario for what she just did. <laughs> Boy, I don't even know what to say. That was a tragic, crazy video. Those are three of the craziest things I've seen in a while. Thank you guys for recording those. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Make sure you check out X Mono Color and X Mono Hair if you want a really amazing red color. I have it for you. And you can also check it out at Sally Beauty and on Amazon, everywhere. The links will all be down below for you. And that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.